how the food you eat affects your gut. Were you aware that the food you eat has a direct effect on your gut health? It can change everything from your mood to how well you digest food. Want to know what things might be good for or bad for your gut? This movie shows you how the foods you eat change the balance of good bacteria in your gut and explains why this is more important than you might think. Find out what you should eat to keep your gut healthy and if the food you're eating now might be hurting you more than it's helping you. It is helpful to have some knowledge about the digestive system and the processes that it goes through in order to comprehend the part that food plays in determining the health of the gut. In the context of a conversation about gut health, the term gut refers to the region of the stomach or belly, but in reality, it encompasses a far wider range of bodily functions. When it comes to this particular instance, the terms gut and digestive system are synonymous. The mouth is the first of several organs and body parts that contribute to digestion, and the gut is a complex system that incorporates a number of organs and components of the body. You can think of your mouth as the starting point of the digestive digestive tract, Naturally, the mouth is the pathway via which food is taken in, and it is the oesophagus that is responsible for transporting the food to the stomach. In addition, the digestive system, generally known as the gut, is comprised of both the small and the large intestines. The function of the irregular bowels. There are three parts that make up the small intestine, and they have the duodenum, the jejunum, and the ileum. The small intestine is not only the organ that is responsible for digestion, but it is also the area where the food that you consume is absorbed directly into the circulation. Small intestines are located in the middle of the digestive tract. That the large intestine is also involved in this process is something that you are well aware of. Furthermore, it stores food that has not yet been digested or broken down by the body. In the same way that the small intestine is made up of several segments, the large intestine is also made up of multiple segments. These segments include the ascending and descending columns as well as the transverse column. The ascending column moves away from the appendix while the descending column moves downwards and into the final component segment of the column. This occurs through the S-shaped sigmoid that leads to the rectum, which is the location where the food is expelled from the body through the anus. When traveling through the body, the transverse column travels across the body while the ascending column moves away from the appendix. In a nutshell, this is the term used to describe the digestive process that takes place in the stomach. What role does food play in gut health? Having a stomach that is healthy will be the outcome of eating meals that are high in nutrients. The requirements of the gut are precisely those that the gut requires, and the fact that your gut requires microorganisms can come as a surprise to you. It is necessary for bacteria to be present in order for digestion to take place, and before you find this to be repulsive, you should be aware that bacteria are present in our bodies in plentiful quantities. There has been a connection made between the presence of harmful bacteria in the gut and a number of the illnesses that are associated with poor health. As an illustration, the bacteria that are present in the digestive tract have the potential to influence the development of illnesses such as depression, diabetes, and even colon cancer. On the other hand, the bacteria that reside in your digestive tract are entirely specific to you. To the same extent as fingerprints are unique to each individual, the bacteria that reside in the digestive tract of a healthy individual are distinct from those that reside in the digestive tract of an individual who is afflicted with an illness. Do you not believe that the goal is to keep the body in good health? Consumption of foods that are high in nutrients and that combat the bad bacteria that attack the gut is the most effective strategy for achieving a gut that is healthy. This is because such foods are the greatest way to achieve this goal. When it comes to maintaining a healthy gut, eating meals that are high in fiber can be beneficial. Examples of foods that are high in fiber include fruits, vegetables, and grains that are eaten in their complete form. An increase in the amount of fiber in one's diet can lead to an improvement in digestion since it helps to regulate the bacteria that are located in the stomach. Additionally, it is essential to keep in mind that refined sweets and processed foods are both things that are harmful for the digestive tract. You should also cut back on the amount of artificial sweeteners you consume. In no way do they contribute to the decrease of harmful bacteria in the stomach, and they do not contribute in any way. Refining sugars and artificial sweeteners, due to their ability to reduce inflammation, actually restrict the amount of damage that can be done to the bacteria that are contained within the digestive tract. It is possible to feed the healthy bacteria in your stomach by eliminating refined and processed meals and increasing the amount of fruit and vegetables you consume. This will provide the helpful bacteria with food while starving the dangerous bacteria. It is recommended that you increase the quantity of lentils, whole grain breads, brown rice, and whole grain rice that you take in your nutrition. As far as the health of the digestive tract is concerned, there is little doubt that diets that contain soluble fiber are healthy. Fermented foods such as sauerkraut, kimchi, and kefir, as well as other fermented foods such as pickles, miso, tempeh, a product made from soybeans, goat milk, and raw cheese that has not been pasteurized, 
are additional food sources that have an effect on the health of the stomach. In the realm of dairy products, probiotic yogurt is the most beneficial companion that your digestive tract could ever hope to have. The probiotics, probiotics which are frequently referred to as live bacteria, are incredibly useful when they are found in the stomach. Because it brings helpful bacteria into the gut, yogurt that contains probiotics is beneficial to the gut. For probiotics, there are two distinct groups to choose from. Each of these can be found in yogurt, in addition to other dairy products and yogurt itself. Yogurt is a source of lactobacillus, which is the type of probiotic that is met with the most frequency. There is an option known as lactobacillus that can assist in the elimination of diarrhea and other issues that are connected with lactose intolerance. In the event that you are lactose intolerant, lactobacillus possesses the ability to assist in the elimination of these troubles. Probiotic supplements that contain bifidobacterium are the second most common form of supplement that contains probiotics. However, not all dairy products have it. Some of them do contain it, but not completely. Be sure to check the labels of the food to determine whether or not it meets the requirements. When someone is suffering from irritable bowel syndrome, it has been demonstrated that consumption can help ease the symptoms linked with the condition. After being digested, probiotics have the potential to decrease symptoms that are associated with infectious diarrhea caused by viruses, bacteria, or parasites. This is because probiotics have the ability to repair the gut microbiome. Antibiotics have been shown to cause diarrhea, and antibiotics have also been shown to cause yeast infections within the body. Both of these side effects have been reported. Probiotics have the potential to aid in the treatment of both of these disorders. Certain foods undoubtedly have an impact, either positively or negatively, on the health of the digestive tract. Should you require any further information regarding the ways in which you may protect your digestive tract, please do not hesitate to get in touch with Austin Gastroenterology. Your digestive system and your gastrointestinal tract in general are both important to your overall health, and we will be happy to assist you with any and all matters relevant to these areas. If you want to learn more about how your diet affects your overall health, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. We've got plenty of tips and insights to help you make better choices for a healthier gut and a healthier you.